but I'm going to cover oh. what my hips do during a long cast. And of course, using your body and body movement is very important, at least it is to me, in making a long cast. Man, in distance casting, no question. So here's what my hips do on a cast. Right now, as you see, I've got a, a very long stance, like I'm hitting a baseball or throwing a ball when I start. So as I go into my presentation cast especially, look at my hips, look at the way they turn. You see that? My hips actually twist 90 degrees. I'm facing you and now I'm facing away from you at 90 degrees. Look at that. Hips moving 90 degrees to go forward. To come back, I'll come back into my original position 90 degrees the other way. To make a very long presentation here, I'm going to do this. Look at the hips. Boom, make my presentation and go down and then I'm going to fish. It's as simple as that, but you have to coordinate it into everything else in your casting strokes. So you got to integrate essentially a lot of things, or maybe for you, a few things or a couple of things really well so that you get a good, powerful cast. Right. Now, look at my hips from a different perspective, from looking at me from the front. I'm casting towards you. I have my body, you know, to the side of you, and look at my hips. My, look at how my hips torque. Look at how they turn for a long cast. 90 degree torque, boom, make the cast. If I have a long back cast, I'm going to go 90 degrees back the other way. Do you see my hips? I'm throwing the side at you. As I come forward, look at that. I turn them, I twist them, come forward, boom, right? My belly button actually is going from the side to the front here. Here, 90 degrees, just like this. Make that cast, make the presentation, and then I fish from there. 